a $5,000 holiday budget. Do you really? <laughs> My name is Sheree and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. In today's video, I guess I'm going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me. I am actually filming some content for Vlogmas. So I figure why not just film, you know, what happens before I create the content. So what I'm doing now is just getting ready to put on some makeup. Let's get started on this face. So what can we talk about while I do my makeup? I don't really want to talk about what I'm doing to my face because it's pretty much self-explanatory, right? You know just now I put on what? What did I just put on? Primer. <laughs> Let's talk about holiday budgets because honestly, oh, I hope this doesn't like squirt out at me. I was creating a list of people that I feel like I need to buy gifts for and I'm just like, w like why? Why am I doing that this year? <laughs> Is it necessary? Of course we want to give gifts and show people that we care about them and we love them but truthfully I'm just not in the gift giving mood this year. I'm not gonna say I'm not in a gift giving mood. I'm just not. Why do I look orange? You guys are seeing this? What was I saying? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm not in a gift giving mood. I just feel like this year I feel more appreciative of life than ever. And in my head, I think that everyone should be feeling the same exact way. Which means, when it comes to gift giving, the best gift that you received this year is your life. <laughs> so what else do you need? What else can I possibly give you? Uh, I don't wanna be a Scrooge, but I just feel like this year, I would rather just send people messages and say, you know what, Merry Christmas, I'm, I love you, I'm happy that we made it to see another holiday season together. And yeah, we're pretty much done with that. <laughs> we can also talk about holiday budgets. I feel like a lot of the time people, they know they have a list of relatives that they have to buy gifts for, but they forget that they're not, you know, millionaires. So when they go into the stores, they're buying all these gifts and they completely forget their holiday budget. I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to like, I don't know, a Macy's or any type of department store and I'm waiting in line and there's people at the register complaining about prices. <laughs> it's like, why are you complaining about prices? Oh, I know why, because you didn't set a budget before you left the freaking house. That's why you're complaining. Now, if you told yourself, okay, this holiday season, I only plan to spend, mm, friendly number, let's say $1,000. You have $1,000 that you wanna spend. Then, you should create a list of the people that you need to buy gifts for. And make it like set in stone, like choose, Create a list of like your more immediate, the family members and friends that are closest to you that you know like every year you get them gifts. Then kind of set like another list of maybe extra people that you feel the need to buy gifts for but it's not really necessary. That way you'll know how to budget your money appropriately. Obviously with a thousand dollars you're gonna spend the majority of that money on your more immediate loved ones, the ones that you buy gifts for every year. And maybe with the extra money that you have left over, you can buy the rest of the people gifts. So when you're creating a budget, just keep in mind like these people are important. I wanna buy them their gifts first. These people, I'm not gonna say they're not, the other people aren't important. It's just, there's levels to it, right? You're gonna buy, let's say your mom, a really nice gift, but you're not gonna necessarily get a coworker 
something on the same level as your mom's gift, right? So that's what I mean by importance. Another thing you can do before you go holiday shopping, of course, create a budget and create a list of people that you need to buy for, but you can also kind of map out what you want to buy them beforehand. Because what happens is if you go to like a department store and you have no idea what you want to get your dad, you're gonna just buy a bunch of different things. So, like department stores are designed and created to make you shop. There's gonna be people standing around with perfume in their hands so you can smell it and buy it because they're not going to put the cheapest perfume in that person's hands. They're gonna put the nicest. They're gonna put the one that smells the best so that when you walk by them and they say, hey, do you wanna smell this perfume? You're like, oh, yeah, I'll smell it. <laughs> Next thing you know, you spent $150 on a fragrance. You have no idea who you're giving it to. Most likely you're gonna keep it for yourself because who wants to give away a fragrance that cost them $150? When you're going into these department stores, kind of know what you wanna buy people, right? Like, so if you're shopping for fragrances for mom or your dad, Go to that section of the store. Stay there. Get what you want. Know your budget. Buy them their gifts only. And don't get caught up by all the hoopla that goes on in these stores. Oh my gosh. How many times do we go to the store? We think we're doing well. We get to the register. Oh, you can save 20% <laughs> if you just sign up for this card. And in your head, you're like, Oh, okay, 20%, that sounds good. I, I can save 20% using a card. But they, they, I guess you have to be smart about it because I've learned to just ask the question, like, is it a charge card? And they're like, oh yeah, it's a charge card. I'm like, all right, cool. Thanks for not telling me that. <laughs> so yeah, definitely ask beforehand because they'll say sign up for a Macy's card, right? It's a charge card. So now you're leaving with the product that you probably wanted to buy, but then you charged it, so you actually just ruined your whole budget idea, because now you have like an extra $150 that you're probably gonna spend on something else, but then a month later, you're gonna receive this bill in the mail that says, oh hey, you owe us $150. And it's like, wait, I used that $150 on another gift. It's a scam. Don't get caught up. Listen to me, because I get caught up in the stores. <laughs> I really do. You know what else I get caught up by? Not the charge cards, cause I'm kinda like hip to that. But the, uh, the products that are just sitting around the register, the products that are just laying around by the lines that you're waiting on, especially in like, um, let's say like a Sephora. The line is literally going into this area where there's little tiny products everywhere what the hell am i supposed to do when i wait in line oh i'm going to look at these products and if i see something interesting that i've never tried before nine times out of ten also be aware of those little trinket items that are just laying around stores right everything in these stores are viable everything if this doesn't go well, oh, let's just hope for the best. One last thing is please do not overdo yourself with your holiday budget. People tend to set budgets that are unrealistic. Like, oh, I have a $5,000 holiday budget. Do you really? Or are you about to miss your rent payment? Like, how are you doing this? So you just wanna be realistic about how you're spending your money during the holidays. Remember, bills are still due in December. You probably have mortgage payment, rent payments, whatever, car payments. All of those things have to also be included in your holiday budget because it determines how much extra money you will be able to spend 
during the holidays. It sounds easy enough, but some people may need to hear that. Today, I went pretty dark with this makeup and I don't know, I thought I was going with like a, a blue, but I don't know if I meant for the blue to be this dark. When I do my makeup, I step out on faith. I say, God, please make this come out good. Let it be good. And it is. I do feel like I need some color on my inner tear duct to kind of like make the eyes pop a little bit. Do I have that brush over here? No. I got it, I got it. I call this my tear duct brush for obvious reasons. It fits right in the tear duct. I'm stepping out on feet. Look at that. I don't know what it's about to look like, but we're gonna try to make it work. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so for my lips, I think I'm just gonna wear a lip gloss. This one's like a nice brown. Oh! Gonna fluff my hair back out. I'm not mad at it, okay, I'm doing something. Go ahead, girl. So what do you guys think? I don't think it came out too bad. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. I have to get this next video started and on a roll.